President Ma ying is calling the surface trade agreement China and Taiwan signed last week an extension of his signature cross-strait trade pact. And today he continued to defend the new agreement against lawmakers who plan a line-by-line -line review and businessmen worried about competition from China. Representatives of industries who fear an impact from the service trade agreement joined a public hearing held by the DPP. A member of the Chinese medicine industry feels he and his colleagues will be the biggest losers. We are all victims. More than 90 percent of the materials used in Chinese medicine come from China. Letting people from the Chinese manufacturing area come here is the same as telling us to close our businesses. When meeting with a U.S. academic today, President Ma ying defended the service trade agreement. This is an extension of the Economic Cooperation Framework Agreement that we signed with China three years ago. It covers a wide range and gives Taiwan's extremely competitive service industries an opportunity to expand into the Chinese market. The vice chairman of the Straits Exchange Foundation, Gao Konglian, tried to defend the pact against lawmakers who want to conduct a line-by-line -line review. Gao said any changes would negate hard-fought negotiations. Legislative Speaker Wang Jingping seemed unwilling to compromise.